Well, I'm here with Wendy Gordon. Wendy's a part of Ingemar Church. She sings in the Celebration Singers, and she's in one of our small groups. And, uh, and so I just wanted to ask her some questions uh, today to talk about small group ministry. Um, first of all, Wendy, um, welcome. Thank you. And um, would you answer this question for me, please? What first brought you to Ingemar Church? Um, I was in Jesus Christ Superstar back in 2005. And then what brought you back? Um, well, I left and then uh, I missed the people I met at Jesus Christ Superstar and I knew a couple of them sang in uh, Celebration Singers and I missed singing so I just came back, um, I think it was January of 2010 and started singing with them. And then eventually you decided that you would join a small group. What made you make that kind of a decision? Um, it was about a year later, um, so I'd been around for a year and saw small groups pass me by and I didn't join. Um, and then it was, I think, January of 2011 when you actually spoke about um, listening to the nudges and responding to the nudges that God is giving you. And I think it was that day that I was out in the lobby and the um, John Ortberg's book, The Me I Want to Be, was sitting out there. And it just really, it just kind of grabbed my attention. and. I was going through some personal things and just kind of struggling with some things and felt like that was a huge nudge from God and that I just wanted to take a chance and do something different and expand my horizons. Oh, well, cool, cool. Well, um, one of the things that I remember from the spring in our small group was that we were thinking of taking the summer off and, um, and you encouraged our group to continue to meet. And I remember that response being quite excited. And so I'm wondering, why did you, wh why did you encourage the group to continue to meet? I had been making progress in my faith development and learning and growing. And I, I was afraid that if we stopped meeting, that I would, I would stop growing and learning. So in light of that, how has your small group been a blessing in your life? Um, well, as you know, I. I really stepped out of my comfort zone in joining a small group in the first place, and I really stepped out by joining the pastor's small group. Um, that felt really scary to me, um, but it turned out to be the friendliest, warmest group of people um, who, it didn't matter what question I asked or what I said, nobody ever looked at me like I was crazy or ever answered me with anything but you know, compassion and, and kindness. Um, it was okay to be the skeptic in the group. It was okay to be the doubter. I just felt very welcomed and I, it just, it, it made my world bigger in a way, um, meeting these people, but it also made it smaller in terms of just having people close to me I knew who cared about me. Now I remember the night at our small group, which was not too long ago when you announced that you were moving to Portland. How would you say your small group has helped you? I don't even know where to begin. I, I don't think I'd be moving to Portland if it weren't for, for my small group. Um, I don't think I would have had the courage. I don't think that I would be in a place with God where I feel like this is what I'm supposed to be doing. This is what God wants. I wouldn't understand that without my small group. Um, I, I just, I understand a lot more. I, I worry a lot less. Um, I'm, I've learned to let go and I've learned to pray. The small group has had a profound impact in my life. I, my, my marriage is stronger because of my small group. My faith is stronger. My relationship with my parents is stronger. Um, I have more hope. Um, the book itself that we studied had a great impact on my life. I'm going to miss my small group very much.